right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Wednesday, the 3rd of March, 2021. We've got the moon moving through the later degree, middle degrees, excuse me, of Scorpio. All right, early in the morning, around 6 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going to create a trine, water to water over there to Venus in the sign of Pisces as well, just about an hour or so later. It's going to start to square Saturn. All right, so that easy flow of energy between uh, the emotional moon, right, our nurturing, caring moon, our emotional needs, Earth's natural satellite, what stays close to home, right? We surrender to the moon. When the moon comes up, the tides come up, the emotions come up, you know, we surrender to this moon. Venus is about our loves, our wants, our desires, the things and the people that we appreciate and love in our life, right? In the sign of Scorpio, we must acknowledge that we all have desires, that we all have yearnings, right? And that's natural human, you know, uh, human element, okay? Having a desire, uh, a desire to connect with people, okay? This is the square going on here to Saturn, uh, connecting with people, connecting with our soul tribe, okay? Creating our soul tribe. Now, this is important because the eighth house deals with shared resources, what we're creating together, okay? And Saturn square, the moon here, wants to make sure that one, we understand our own individuality and what it is that we are creating with other people. This is about balance, okay? So a fun way to look at this is uh, it, it, cows are going to flock to the meadow to the open field. Cows aren't in the forest. Cows aren't in the jungle, right? So what is our business? As the eighth house deals with business, Scorpio deals with business, not just about the shadow work. It's not just about, uh, you know, those, those things under the surface. It is, but it's under the surface. What are we creating with one another, right? Being in awe of the city, being in awe of what human, you know, human beings can create when we put our hands together, okay? So if, what, are we, what are we trying to create? It's understanding our individuality. If we want to be a cow farmer, that can't happen in the middle of the woods. You see, this is the square to Saturn, the collective community that we're creating. What is it that our collective community is creating? And what kind of people are we attracting to our business, right? I used to do a show about uh, astrology, and cryptocurrency. It didn't resonate with me, you know, even with my, the partner I was doing it with, my other, my, my brother, Aaron, you know, we, we, we both fell out of this, you know, working with business uh, in, in finances and money. And because that's, that's the mind, that's all people wanted. Like, I love listening to Esther Hicks, if you know Esther Hicks and the teachings of Abraham Hicks. Um, but I got burnt out. I love the law of attraction and learning more about it, but I got burnt out of people saying, how can I manifest more money? Give me more money so I can have financial freedom. I want to sit on a beach and sip cocktails for the rest of my life. How can I get more money, more money, more money, more money, right? So we recognized that while we were creating an astrology show and he, you know, about finances and business, the clients that we were attracting, the individuals was about money, 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 money. And we realized it just wasn't for us. So we had to pivot. We had to shift our business, right? What kind of community? And we still work together. Aaron and I still work together, but in a very different kind of business, right? Um, so it's like we have to recognize what is it, who are the individuals in our business that we're trying to, to attract, okay? Uh, if we're entrepreneurs, if we're, if we're business people, or just the community in and of itself, what kind of community are we trying to attract? What kind of energy are we putting out? And what do we want to get back in? And, you know, this can also deal with marketing as, as Venus and, and uh, uh, the sun here, the moon is going to uh, start to trine the sun and it's creating a square over there to Mercury, a square over there to Jupiter. Um, and I'll show you the chart here in a second. And, and again, it's the easy flow between air, I mean, uh, water and water right? The emotional moon, what do we need when we're working with the collective and tapping into the collective unconsciousness, tapping into that sense of oneness, this, this uh, uh, Piscean energy, okay? And media and marketing can deal with the Piscean energy, all right? Specifically media. And it's like today in my mailbox, I got a check, but it wasn't a check at all. 
It was, it was a weird marketing scheme that looks like, oh, Aaron got money. But really what it is, is they want my money. They wanted me to buy their product. They wanted me to sign up for their thing. And the way that they caught my attention when I opened this piece of mail was by making it look just like a check. And I was like, oh, sweet, I got paid. No, they wanted to get paid. You know, so if we are the entrepreneur, if we are the business person that's creating a business or creating that soul tribe and putting information out there, how are we going about doing it? You know, and this energy is saying, especially the Piscean energy right now is saying about going in, a, in an honest way, right? We all have needs. I have to pay my electricity bill just like everybody else does. So I desire having an income that can, you know, I can afford my lifestyle to afford this, to do whatever, you know, to do whatever is necessary for me. And, and just as you do, we have needs that need to be met. There's no question about it. You know, but it's what kind of way we're going about it. And, and all of this energy is suggesting going about it in an honest way, you know, not trying to scam people. I get so many phone calls that we get. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty, you know, and it's just a scam. Or I get, you know, what I get all the time is, Aaron, hey, we've been trying to, you know, we've been trying to reach you about these vacation credits that you've earned. You know, why didn't you go on this vacation, man? Did you forget about it? It's like, I didn't sign up for this. And this is, and, and by you, you know, assuming or insinuating that I just missed, you know, I forgot to go on vacation that I signed up for, you know, it's absurd. And it's a way to, you know, is guilt tripping and trying to make somebody, oh, okay. And all you have to do, Mr. Eschenberg, is, is pay the taxes on this, which would be $695 for your three day getaway. It's like, that's how much the three-day getaway costs. There's no credits. There's no vouchers. This is just a backwards marketing scheme to give guilt tripping us to buy their product, to fulfill their financial needs, to fulfill their desires so they can go on vacation. You know, if you've ever watched The, uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, you know, uh, one the I think it's... Uh, I don't know if it's Leonardo, Di Leonardo DiCaprio's character or... Uh, um, the other guy was singing the, um, Matthew McConaughey, you know, and he's just like, it's Fugazi, the, 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 the Wall Street market, the, you know, the, uh, the stock market, because Fugazi, he's like, the bottom line is I know how to spend their money better than they do. Their money looks better in my bank account than it does theirs. They don't know what to do with it. I do. Right. So there's this, there's this energy kind of tipping back here, and that's part of the squares going on to Saturn, square to Mercury, square to Jupiter about abundance and love and joy and the community and the community that we're creating, the businesses that we're creating, the soul tribe that we're creating, and how we're attracting people and the media, the manipulation of media or the honesty of the media, you know, for us to be able to fulfill what we desire. And to fulfill our own desires in the sense of giving back. And that's what a lot of this energy accumulating from that full moon is leading up to this Pisces new moon. Right? Coming back to that oneness. It's seeing how can I be of service? And what kind of person of service do I want to be? And if I am an entrepreneur, if I am a business person, if I am in this marketing, what kind of way do I want to, to gain my clientele? And is it through mis, you know, uh, manipulation or is it through a place of authenticity and realness, right? And again, coming back to, you know, you know I, I work with a lot of celebrities. I work with a lot of people in, my, in, in the film industry here, you know, that, that, that put out content. But it, once again, you know, as, like, as an individual, I, I'm, I've come to an awareness personally and I'm like happy to share that because I have a, a, a weird back door into these lives that most people don't get, they don't get to see, you know, and, and we put so much of our energy into this, the celebrity, all, oh, all oh, the celebrity lifestyle and what they say, sometimes we in the public cling to that, you know, well, they're a celebrity, so they must know. And I think I've, you know, I've talked about this before on the channel. It's just like they, when, the, when is the last time any one of those individuals has walked into a grocery store, walked into a grocery store and gone shopping? let alone if their dog or cat pukes on the carpet. Who's cleaning it up? Them? Probably not. The maid. You know? I've seen personally, you know, someone hold a fan. 
for a celebrity. So they don't get hot as, as the, the assistant or whomever is standing there, you know, holding this thing, standing in the blazing heat or putting an umbrella over somebody so they don't get the sun on them. So they stay, you know, so their makeup stays perfect. In the meantime, they're just dripping sweat. You know, it's just like lifestyles that, that, that are so disconnected from humanity and, and, and yet we cling on to some of, you know, like every word that they have to say as if they really know, but they're completely unrelatable. You know, so it's just like part of that's, again, part of these squares. Unrelatable. You're, you're an unrelatable aspect of, of humanity, yet you're trying to offer this input into humanity, you know, and coming back to ourself and our authenticity and our emotional needs and our emotional desires and cleaning out our shadows right? I got hung up on it when I was younger. I thought it was so cool to work with celebrities in Hollywood. You know, now I'm trying to find my way out of it. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to create my own content like this. M my, me working in film is, is what inspired partially doing this, working on Bridezilla and working on other shows. And I've talked to producers about producing positive content. And their answer is, Aaron, no one's buying that. They want the sugar. They want the Snickers bar. That's why there's commercials for Snickers bar. There's not commercials for grapes. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like coming back to our, our, what do we really need and seeing our own shadow of why it is that we desired that or why that information from that kind of community or that kind of uh, uh, celebrity status or whatever it may be, you know, we look at and find a fancy to. You know, as well, I want to wrap this up. It's like, you know, th this, this flow that's going on here with the moon, okay, uh, connecting here besides the square, uh, the easy flow of energy here to the sun. And then how we're going to end our day almost into the morning. You know, it's, it's uh, there you go. It's uh, depending on where you're at in the world, that's 2 a.m., Thursday morning, so my friends over in LA, that's going to be you know eleven o'clock at night for you. Anyway, you know Neptune deals with this media, deals with the news, and when we're so focused on what's happening on the news, when we're so focused on what's happening in other people's lives, social media, when we're so focused on you know what the message that they're saying, which once again they're being paid to say it on television, they're being paid, they're being paid most likely by a pharmaceutical company. In all honesty. Most likely a pharmaceutical company is paying these individuals to say most things. You know, uh, when we're so focused on that and their message and what's going on with the world, we lose sight of self. Their needs, wants, and desires become our needs, wants, and desires because we're not able to filter out or, or see the difference. Coming back to yesterday's, you know, with the breath. Coming back to our breath, coming back to our oneness, our stillness, our balance of, of breath, body, and mind. You know, those clear waters will start to be able to cut through and see through this. So that's our day, my friends. There's a lot going on, you know, and cutting through the BS here and not buying somebody else's product just because they're selling it. Not, not taking the cookie just because it's being presented for us, but checking in with ourselves and our own emotional needs and seeing what's deep down. Am I grabbing the cookie because I don't want to be left out? Everyone's eating a cookie. No, I don't need it. I'm good on that cookie depending on what kind. If it's a white chip macadamia nut cookie, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> All right, my friends. <laughs> I love you. I wish you enough. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Mercury days. Odin, Mercury days, right? Woden's day. Information. So a lot of downloads coming up today, especially as, uh, you know, Mercury is getting closer. It's going to conjunct Jupiter here on Thursday, which Thursdays are Jupiter days. So we're going to talk about that more tomorrow, and we'll see you then.